and race two, the $470,000 British Crown Final for two-year-old Philly Pacers. Hans Kulat shuffled with pace, draws better. Kick a Katie, 14 for 14, an outside shot at horse of the year. Glowing report, speed tightened from a tougher post. Show off first over last week and likes to rally. And they're off in BJ's Sunset from mid-pack leaves and wig party flying out from the far outside. K -K -K Katie is skimming the pylons early. She gets away in the third spot. Glowing Report has come out racing in fourth and Pans Kulats is fifth into the opening turn. All-American Coco is sixth in behind her and BJ's Sunset leads it. Wig party settled second. Glowing Report gets the jump on K -K -K Katie as Brennan will gun her early for the lead and she's coming first up. Now second and challenging for the front and just as she gets to the lead, Miller makes a move with Kaka Katie who's now coming first up. Opening quarter in 27 and 2. Glowing Report has the front, but the heavy favorite Kaka Katie is working her way closer on the outside, and she's now second challenging for and taking the lead well before the half mile marker. BJ's Sunset back in third. Wig Party who left hard is racing in fourth. Pans Kulats is fifth. All American Coco is following in sixth. Show Off trying to flush some cover to the outside, and Pans Kulats is tipped out first over from fifth. Further back in eighth is Jay K matchmaker the half and 55 and two. Panipulator is racing in ninth and at the back of the pack is Lady's Portrait who trails the field and Miller is tapping the brakes with K -K -K Katie looking for a bit of a third quarter breather. Glowing Report is right on his helmet jammed in the box there in second. Up on the outside coming first over Pans Kulats who's under urging and Pans Kulats right on the wheel of K -K -K Katie. A great striking spot for All-American Coco and show off with a helmet trip is third over just four lengths from the lead. Three quarters and 125 and one. And they come to the top of the stretch in the Breeders' Crown. K -K -K Katie is put to the test here. Pans Kulat's dead game. Glowing report with nowhere to go. All American Coco kicking off cover. Pans Kulat's wearing down K -K -K Katie. Pans Kulat's with a short lead. K -K -K Katie, All American Coco show off on the outside. Pans Kulat's leads it at the line. Pans Kulat's pulls off the upset. What an absolutely incredible effort from this two year old daughter of the Panda Rosa, let alone on any given night grinding first up, but she beats the unbeaten Katie to boot, and that filly was digging in for all she was worth. A homebred from Bob Glazer's Peter Pan Stables, trainer Ben Wallace has brought this filly along slowly, winning the crown in just her 10th career start. This was Wallace's 13th crown starter. Remember last year, his totally Western, upset favorite, All-American native. And it's ironic that Wallace is hoping to beat Glazer's, no pan intended, in the three-year-old Colt Pace in race five. Well, Wallace pays giant killer again, third crown trophy for Dubé, Gallo Blue Chip back in tonight's sixth. Dubé paid 108.20 with Shore by five right here in 99. Winning owner and breeder Bob Glazer was ecstatic. Well, she's come a long way in a short period of time. Ben has done uh, an incredible job with her. Gary Baker broke her and uh, shipped her up to Ben. And uh, here I am standing in the winner's circle. Like, like I said, I can't believe it.